Hi guys, welcome back to another video today. As you can see, I've done my um, championship predictions. Um, before I get started, if you are new to my channel, hit subscribe because there is a lot more football stuff coming up when the football season is on. Might be someone that's off as well, so make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications. Smash the like button if you like this video. Without any further ado, you can see both sides. But now, I'm going to say exactly what I predicted this table. So in 24th, I have put Millwall. Now Millwall's came up through the playoffs. They have been in the championship before. But I think they might struggle a bit unless they get... a couple of more new players in the window so that's why i put them in 24th sorry if i upset you Mill. in 23rd i have put bolton purely because yet they have another team that's came up but even when they are in the championship they have struggled from time to time so i've got a funny feeling they're gonna go back down 22nd I have put Bristol City now I, why I put Bristol City is because they were close in the um, bottom half so um, and I only done it by beating Brighton at home at I oh, sorry at the Amex so, so I've got a funny feeling they're gonna go back down they're gonna, they're gonna go down, sorry. But in 21st, just escaping relegation, I think it'll be Sheffield United. I think Sheffield United have got the team to stay in the championship. But I think they're gonna have to fight for it to um, stay in, same as everyone else. In 20th, I've gone with Burton Albion, nice little club. Um, I think it will, I think even between my predictions between 17th and 24th, there's going to be a battle all the way throughout the season. So, but I've gone with Burton in 20th purely because I think they can survive, they have done it before, so they just got to do it again. So that's why I put them in 20th. In 19th I have gone with Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest have been struggling over the past few years with managers and that. So I don't think they'd be as bad as this season just gone. But I think they won't be um, any higher contenders than in 19th. So that's why I put them in 19th. But we have to wait and see. In 18th I have gone with Itchwich. Only I've gone with Itchwich is but yet yeah, they've been struggling the past couple of seasons. Same as a few of the other teams. But I think they're going to have a bit of an off more season than um, this season. Than a few previous seasons. So no the season we're coming into, I think they'll struggle probably a bit more off the pace as well, so that's why I put you in 18th. Now, in 17th, I've gone with Birmingham. Birmingham have been struggling uh, since they sack Gary Routledge. Sorry if, I, sorry if you watch this and I mispronounce your name. Um, and then they went with Joe Franco Sola. Um... Do I think I'm wrong to get rid of Gary? Possibly. Well, yeah, because you might have been in the playoffs, so. But I think they, um, I think they won't do any better than 17th, if I'm honest. I think you need to regroup, get your fans back on your side. And, um, but yeah, that's why I suck you in 17th. In 16th, I have gone with Wolverhampton. 
I think Wolverhampton are possibly going to be screeching for the players within the next two to three seasons. I don't think they're going to do it the season we're coming into. I think there's too many strong teams in the championship, as there always are. But I don't think they're going to um, go get close to the playoffs yet. I think, yeah, again, you need to regroup and then maybe try and fight for the top flight. In 15th, I have gone Queen's Park Rangers. Queen's Park Rangers are doing well under Ian Holloway. But yeah, I think you do 13th, maybe 12th. But um, yeah, again, I can't see you getting any higher. So in 13th, I have gone for Brentford. Brentford's a small little club, good little club. But I think your away games, when you're especially away from home, I think you need to um, try and strengthen your squad a bit more in, in the uh, summer window to um, help your help yourselves, especially in the away performance. Because where you do play on a small ground, same as QPR, as soon as it comes to a bigger, a bigger ground, I was going to pitch is slightly bigger, slightly wider, so that's why I put you in 13th. In 12th, I have gone for Barnsley. Barnsley have been um, pushing lately to uh, just get in the uh, top half. Yeah, I think you might not do it season coming up, so I'll, um, that's why I put you in 12th. In 11th, I have put Sunderland. Sunderland just come down from the Premier League. I think you need to regroup, get your fans back behind you, because I think the, the club's in a bit of two halves. They want different things. Um, but I can't see you coming straight back up. So if I upset any fans during this video. In 10th, I have gone for Bower. Yet again, Borough was a good, was a good strong, strong, strong squad. But um, ever since you let your manager go, because you were fighting the relegation zone. To be honest, I think you should have kept him. I think he would have kept you up. But now I can't see you even pushing for the playoffs. Never known in the top two, so that's why I put you in. Into 10th. In 9th, I have gone for Villa. Why have I gone for Villa in 9th? Under Steve Bruce, you are strong. I can even might see you pushing for the 6th spot, the final plus spot. But if you keep Steve Bruce, keep your team spirit, keep your crowd on your side, I think you do quite well in the upcoming season. In Eighth, I've gone for Go Rapledge. A uh, new team who he's managing is Derby. Now, Derby is coming back into play with all the uh, top teams. Um, I mean, uh, my local club, Brighton. Um, we have played Derby. The iPro Stadium is a hard stadium to go into. So I think you will get 8th, possibly push you for 5th spot. But I reckon you won't do any worse than 8th. So. In 7th, I've gone for Preston North End. Why have I gone Preston North End in 7th? Because... I think, you're, I think your ground's called Deepdale. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but... Tough ground to go to, tough team, good management, good team spirit, good fans. And I reckon you can even make, possibly make a push for the playoffs. But obviously you have to wait and see. But that's why I put you in seventh, because you got, your team's good. You're ready. Just stick, stick with them. And hopefully you eventually get in the top flight. 
In the first pass, what I've gone with an out shot, which is Norwich. Now, Carrow Road, I did go there when they beat Brighton 2 0. Your, your, your ground is fantastic. I mean, it's a small ground, but good fans, you know, you're up for a laugh. But I reckon you might have a good shot at the playoffs if you stick with your team. I can see like a lot of you going, well, why don't you put us in the playoffs? I just think Norwich are going to have a good fight for the playoffs. So that's why I put you into sixth. Fifth, I've gone for Sheffield Wednesday. Um, reason I've gone Sheffield Wednesday into fifth is because they just missed out on the. Uh, they got in the playoffs. Got knocked down the sem the uh, semis of the playoffs, but um, I think you will have another shot at it. I think your squad's good, your fans are good. Um, so I reckon you will get back in there. In fourth, I've gone for the eighteenth spot. I think they finished. Um, Hull, I reckon you will have a, um, a player spot coming back up. And I think you, I don't think you will, you might win the playoffs, I'm not 100% sure. Obviously you've got to do it first, this is just my prediction, my theories, so, you know. Um, but that's why I put you into fourth, I think you will get back in the playoffs. Sorry. In third, I've gone for Fulham. Yet again, Fulham um, did get in the playoffs. They failed in the semis. But I think you will get back in there, Fulham. So that's why I'll put you into third. In second, I have gone for Leagues. Now, I see many of you laughing like Leagues didn't even make the playoffs. But. Like Brighton, um, you know, there's been a few other teams that have shocked. Leicester went in the Premier League. I don't, I don't think many of us thought, would have thought of that. But um, I reckon Leeds will get automatic uh, playoff promotion because their team, I know their team's good, Chris Woods, Robert Green, um, yeah, I think I've got a strong team, but Leagues fans, stick behind them, you will get up there. And in first spot, I've gone for the playoff finalist who failed at the penalty shootout is Reading. Why have I gone Reading? Under Yapstam, great club, great team, great fans as well, good ground, um, I've been there. And I reckon you could have top spot. Right, before I end this video, I'd like to say if you do subscribe to my channel, I am going to do, I'm going to choose six games every weekend. If you get the score right, I'm going to do a league sort of table thing where if you get one score right, you get one point, two, and the maximum will be six points. So if you get six scores right, you, um, you have six points, but then it's going to be over 38 weeks, so over the weeks of a uh, Premier League. So if you subscribe, if this league does really hit heights, I might give a prize away, but it's up to you guys to make it as good as possible. If you want, to, if you are interested, message me your name. I will get the table set up. I'm looking for a maximum of 10 people to start it off. It's a bit of a laugh, you know. And if it does, if it does reach new heights, then you will, um, you know, in the 2018-19 season, it will be bigger. It will get better, and there will be money up for grabs at come the end of the season. But it's up to you guys to make sure this league kicks off. Anyway, guys. As I said, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscription. A lot more football content coming up during the season. And hopefully this part of the off-season. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.